Good day mga kabaro! Welcome sa aking YouTube channel. Ang video na to ay para sa mga officers and aspiring officers, lalong lalo na sa mga sumasakay ng tanker vessels. And ididiscuss natin ngayon dito kung paano nga ba ang stowage planning. And bago ang lahat, huwag kalimutan i-click ang like and subscribe button para sa upcoming videos and tutorials. Thank you! So, unang-una, kailangan mo ng voyage order. Ano nga bang voyage order? Ito ay ang detailed information about sa next cargo. Like, type ng cargo, quantity, loading port, discharging port, the temperature, etc. etc. So, for this example, meron tayong fuel oil. So, for fuel oil, and load port is Tarragona, Spain. And the maximum cargo is 33,000 metric tons in air. The cargo temperature is 57.2 degrees Celsius. And the density is 50 is 0 0.9848 at 15 degrees Celsius, standard temperature. And the charge port natin is Livorno, Italy. So other information na kailangan natin is Estimated bunker quantity, ballast quantity, water density sa loading port and discharging port. Kung meron mang drop and air, restric air drop restrictions, the load line zones, the vapor pressure, and any restrictions in the last three cargos. So for the cargo temperature, take the maximum anticipated temperature for safety purposes. Lalo na kung mag load ka from low temperature going to higher temperature ports. For example, mag-loading ka sa Rotterdam na malamig and going ka sa Malaysia which is mainit. So, the cargo temperature will eventually rise and the cargo volume will expand and it will cause overfilling of cargo tanks. Another thing is the heating instruction ng charterer. So, sa example natin, we have to load the fuel oil temperature at 50 degrees Celsius but as per instruction we will have to heat up until up to maximum 57.2 degrees Celsius so we will use the maximum temperature which is 57.2 degrees Celsius for the drop and air drop restrictions take into account kung ano ang maximum allowable drop between load port and discharging port and in this case we have no restrictions so okay lang okay so now that we have all the details we go to the ludicator so on board we have the ship manager 88 ito yung program na ginagamit natin on board para sa oil tanker vessels sa loading and discharging operations so first of all we have to set the cargo fuel oil so we put fuel oil and the abbreviation FO and we will put the density 0 0.9848 and the uh, specific gravity and API automatic na yan ng lumalabas sa ludicator so no need to change and we will use table 54B 54B is used for oil products while the 54A is for uh, crude oil products and we click OK Next, we set the seawater density. Constant seawater 1.025. Click OK. So, next, we designate the cargo tanks to be used. So, since we will take full cargo, we will use all the cargo tanks, including the slap tanks. Then, we will put the cargo temperature. As I mentioned earlier, we will use the maximum cargo temperature for safety purposes. So we will put 57.2 degrees Celsius. And for the BCF, so no need to change, automatic na yan. So for the ballast, let us assume that we will discharge all the ballast water since we are in full load condition. But we will leave some quantity as there are some unpumpable water inside the ballast. 
like mods etc etc so lagyan lang natin ng 5 cubic each ballast tank so next thing to do is simulating the nominated quantity so in this scenario we will have to load maximum 33,000 metric tons of fuel oil and we will simulate each tank allage until we have the 33,000 metric tons cargo so we put we try the 4 meter each tank until we get the 33,000 metric tons cargo So now that you have the exact quantity of the cargo, we will now go to trim and list. As much as possible, make it even kill with no list. So paano natin gagawin yan? Una, let's make the trim correction to zero since we will make it even kill with no list. For the trim, we go to utility, trimming, and trim with cargo ship. So from one, one port, up to slap tank starboard side and we change it to zero trim and click apply may kita nyo mag magiging even kill sya so zero trim yes. and for the list we go to utility shifting and we will choose which cargo tanks to be used for listing so in this case we will use the four wing cargo tanks and we try to ship around 50 metric tons and we click apply until we upright the vessel So now that you have the list and the trim, we can now check the intact stability criteria. So in our case as tanker vessel, these are the criteria that we have to check. So sa ludicator, automatically na kinakalculate and all these criteria should be okay. Next is the longitudinal strength, the shear force and the bending moment should be always within the permissible limits at sea going condition as much as possible make it less than 95% for both SF and the BM and the propeller should be fully immersed and during simulation the dead weight should maintain at least 30% of summer dead weight and in our vessel's case it should not be less than 11,844 metric tons Next is the damage stability. In damage stability, all the conditions should be simulated and be checked that in any condition, the vessel will have the enough stability and remain afloat. So, kailangan i-check nyo yan, case 1 until sa pinakababa. And all the, same, all the conditions should be uh, checked and be okay. So, ayan. We have now the storage plan for the next voyage and ready na submit kay Kapitan for checking bago natin isend sa office for approval.